So now let me discuss the actions of the sympathetic nervous system on the bronchus. Now if you take on the bronchus, the major action of the sympathetic nervous system on the bronchus is bronchodilatation. Right? It is bronchodilatation. Now, now let me discuss how it will cause bronchodilatation. If you take the receptors which are present within the bronchial smooth muscle, the bronchial smooth muscle it contains beta 2 receptors. Right, bronchial smooth muscle. It contains the beta 2 receptors. Right, it contains the beta 2 receptors. A point that you have to remember here is bronchial smooth muscle contain the beta 2 receptors, but there is no sympathetic supply to the bronchus. This is a very, very important point. Right, a point what you should remember is there is no sympathetic supply to the bronchus then how it will cause bronchodilatation let me tell you now when you give any exogenous drugs which will stimulate the beta 2 receptors the exogenous drugs which will stimulate the beta 2 receptors will cause bronchodilatation okay so a point that you should remember is The exogenous drugs will stimulate the beta 2 receptors which are present on the bronchial smooth muscle and that will cause bronchodilatation. Right, that will cause bronchodilatation. Alright, so this is the effect of the sympathetic nervous system on the bronchus now now after having discussed about the action on the bronchus now let me discuss the effect on the eye right let me tell you the effect of the sympathetic nervous system on the eye now if you take within the eye let me tell you the sympathetic nervous system it will cause pupillary dilatation which is called as midriasis right which is called as midriasis now now let me tell you how it will cause the midriasis see the sympathetic receptors which are present within the eye is the alpha 1 receptors right it is your alpha 1 receptors this particular alpha 1 receptor stimulation right alpha 1 receptor stimulation will cause what is called the pupillary dilatation okay so where are these alpha 1 receptors present? These alpha 1 receptors they are present on the dilator pupillary muscle. Right it is present on the dilator pupillary muscle. Now when the alpha 1 receptors which are present on the dilator pupillary muscle are stimulated then there will be the dilatation of the pupil which is called as midriasis okay so stimulation of alpha 1 receptors which are present on the dilator pupillary muscle will cause midriasis right that is a very important point so if you take the other actions within the eye now the other sympathetic receptors which are present within the eye is the beta 2 receptors right one is the alpha 1 receptors which are present within the dilator pupillary muscle once they are stimulated there will be midriasis now apart from that what is the other action if you see a point here once the beta 2 receptors which are present within the eye now where are these beta 2 receptors present they are present within the ciliary muscles right so whenever the beta 2 receptors are stimulated there will be what is called as the ciliary vasodilatation so the other receptors which are present is the beta 2 receptors right once these receptors are stimulated there will be ciliary vasodilatation now now once there is ciliary vasodilatation what will be the action a point that you have to remember here is whenever the beta 2 receptors which are present on the 
ciliary muscles once they are vasodilated there will be increase in the aqueous humor production right there will be increase in the aqueous humor production now this particular aqueous humor production once it increases that will increase the intraocular pressure all right so when beta 2 receptors are stimulated there will be increase in the aqueous humor production whereas if the alpha receptors right if alpha receptors are stimulated what will happen is there will be decrease in the aqueous humor production okay so a point what you should remember beta 2 receptors stimulated there will be increase in the aqueous humor production alpha receptors are stimulated there will be decrease in the aqueous humor production so now in what way we can use this in the treatment of glaucoma now you see here when beta receptors are stimulated there is increase in the aqueous humor production and that will increase the intraocular pressure whereas alpha receptors are stimulated there will be decrease in the aqueous humor production and that will cause decrease in the intraocular pressure so what you have to do if you want to give any drugs in glaucoma by action via sympathetic nervous system what you have to give is you have to give beta blockers right you have to give beta blockers and alpha agonists right you give beta blockers and as well as alpha agonists what they will do they will decrease the aqueous humor production and that particular principle and that particular principle is used in the treatment of glaucoma right that particular principle is used in the treatment of glaucoma so now you see here when beta 2 receptors are stimulated there will be increase in aqueous humor production so what you do you block that beta 2 receptors by giving a beta blocker so that will reduce the aqueous humor production if alpha receptors are stimulated there is decrease in aqueous humor production so what you do is you give alpha agonist that will decrease the aqueous humor production and so beta blocker and alpha agonist they will decrease the aqueous humor production and they will decrease the intraocular pressure and that particular group of drugs are used in the treatment of glaucoma now what is glaucoma glaucoma is a clinical condition which is characterized by increase in the intraocular pressure either because of increase in aqueous humor production or decrease in the outflow so what you try to do is you give a group of drugs which will decrease the aqueous humor production that will decrease the intraocular pressure and thereby they are used in the treatment of glaucoma so this is the action within the eye so in the eye it will cause pupillary dilatation in the eye you give beta blockers or alpha agonists that particular principle is used in the treatment of glaucoma